Hi kisses and welcome back to my channel. We are back at it again. Please remember to subscribe. If you can, be so kind to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to be a part of my digital strip club, go ahead and check out the description box. There's a lot of goodies in there, a lot of different links, and also my OnlyFans. It's 18 plus, so keep that in mind. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. trying to keep these edges down but now that I look at it I'm like I kind of like this little head wrap thing going on here I'm like oh, okay you know slap on some earrings I put it on backwards to try to keep my edges down you know how it goes ladies I have been studying while I've been at the club so now that I'm going to work I'm going to make sure that I bring my study guide for my personal certification and this has been my homework I'm going to be testing soon and I am very nervous, but confident that I'm going to do uh, pretty well. And if I don't pass the first time, it's um, okay. I'm just going to retest again. But I'm doing my best to make sure that I pass my very first time. It is a lot of work, but I'm on it. One of you guys asked, um, do I feel lonely? Do I ever feel lonely? Do I ever feel lonely? Like I have no family. I'm not in a relationship. Um, I have one friend. <laughs> Uh, and that's Miles. You guys have seen him in my vlogs. Do I get lonely? I have felt lonely, but I don't get lonely. Like my whole voice is squeaked right when I said lonely. Um, I have felt lonely, but I don't think I get lonely because I force myself to just always stay busy. When I'm not working at the club, I'm studying for my NSAM, my personal certification. Uh, to become a personal trainer. That's just something that I'm going to have in my pocket always. In case, you know, at, when the time comes that I just have to do something different with my life. Um, if, if it comes to that. But my ultimate goal is to be an actress. And for the first time, I'm able to have no distractions in my life. Like, if I'm not in a relationship and I don't have any family members in my life and I just have one friend, I have a very controlled environment where I can have laser focus and focus on what my goal is. Um, my number one goal is obviously to have my son in my life and my overall life goal, as far as like a family is concerned, it's, you know, one day reuniting with my son and having a healthy relationship with him. That's my priority, obviously. Um, which is one of the reasons why I'm working so hard on so many different channels. YouTube, I have three channels on YouTube. I'm working on my OnlyFans. And I'm trying to just create uh, financial stability where I can go ahead and pursue this um, in a courtroom. And it's not going to make me homeless. You know what I mean? So uh, I feel like finally the universe has turned everything around for me. And I'm getting so much support. And the crazy thing about receiving so much support online is that's another way I don't feel lonely. Because I always have positive comments coming in and people saying you know you motivate me and, and and that gives me strength to just keep going it's like you know they're not giving up on me I'm not going to give up on my fans I'm not going to give up on you know on my kisses it's it's the one thing that's always been there the strip club has always been there YouTube has always been there for the past eight or nine years they've always been there you know through the good the bad that's the one thing that has always stood its ground and I have no doubt in my mind that one day I'm going to work for Tyler Perry. I That sounds crazy, but there's, I don't know what it is. I just don't doubt that. I'm like, okay, one day I'm going to go work for Tyler Perry, you know, 
um, and this is what I want to do. Well, the, I just went on a little bit of a tangent, but uh, the point is, some, I, I do feel lonely at times, but I keep myself really busy, so it minimizes that feeling. I am human, so you know, you tend to think about what could have, should have, would have, but uh, it's not in the cards for me to have a big family. It's not, so I've let that go. I used to have really high hopes on having like a really strong family and having a strong marriage and being like that that unit that just made it work, like Will Smith and Jada Pinkett type shit. <laughs> like I love them. I don't know what their life is really like, but I what I've seen, I just love how they interact and how they are with their children. I just and I've always wanted that, and right now that's just not in the cards for me. So I've let go of that uh, fantasy or that that I just I just thought my life would be so different at the age of 40 and the one thing that I realized is that that's just not gonna happen for me that's just that's what I used to want I just I no longer want that right now I just want to be have a successful career in acting I want to be a successful youtuber I want to be able to change people's lives I want to talk to millions and millions of people and I have the avenue right now where you know God and the universe and just every all this positive energy is flowing my way and I'm just no longer fighting the current you know I didn't think I was going to be 40 working at a strip club, but it's the one thing that I could, that has always been there for me since I was 18 years old. The one thing that has always had my back is a strip club. Oh shit, I'm in a problem. Like I need some money. Okay, well, I just got to go to work. It's the one thing that has never let me down. The strip club has been loyal to me and I'm like, wow, like I'm 40 and I can go back and rock the shit out of this job. Like I'm... Look, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I'm a bad bitch. Like, stop playing. I'm like, listen here. And now I'm going into this job with a completely different mindset. You know, I'm going in there, obviously, to make good money and get the bag and better myself. But on top of that, I'm creating great content and I'm producing and I'm actually creating content. Like, I'm like, yes, bitch, like you're actually doing this YouTube shit. And, you know, being able to go into a strip club and 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 just be like wow and just show and vlog my life it's just it's amazing to me so it it really makes me happy to know that the one thing that that was supposed to be so disgraceful the one thing that was supposed to be such a a damning thing or make me look a certain type of ways the one thing that has held me together is the one thing that has given me hope it's the one thing that's actually making my life work and to think all i had to do was just you know, just show my life, just show what it is. Um, but I can't wait until I'm an actress and I can't wait until I can take all these different life experiences and say, let's say if I have to play a role of, you know, a mom that lost her child, I know what that's like, my firstborn passed away. What is it like to play a mom that doesn't have their kid in their life? I know that. What is it like to play the homeless role? I've been homeless. What is it like to be that snooty bitch that's a millionaire? I've been that, like, um, just there's so much when I look back at my life I'm like there's so much that I can pull feeling from that I know I'm going to be a phenomenal actress I just need that opportunity so I say that to say this I want to be I want to work for Tyler Perry and the Transformers because bitch I need to oh, and the X-Men and Captain Marvel and all that shit I need to be in the movies okay I said I need to be doing um shit I want to be a superhero Shoot, who don't want to be a superhero? What? Nah, girl. What's your power? Mm-hmm. All that. Yes. <laughs> What's your power? You ain't looking at it? Look at this. I'm a beast. I'm a beautiful beast. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyways. If you guys are into Tyler Perry movies, pick a scene, right? And leave a comment so I can pick whatever scene it is that, that comes up the most like whichever one gets the most thumbs up actually leave the link if you can or the name of the movie and the scene that you're talking about there's ways to look up the titles and stuff like that and the actual chapters so i should use apple tv and look up the chapters that says the name of the actual chapter and apple tv and let me know what role i should reenact so then i can go to youtube space new york find that studio setting and reenact that scene Obviously, I'm going to need time to study. I'm studying for my NSAM. I'm going to YouTube Academy. Yes, the bitch is going to digital YouTube Academy. I'm trying to learn as much as I can about YouTube because that's how serious... YouTube is important for me, okay? YouTube is like my backbone. This is like my career choice. Like, I love... So, I'm going to take YouTube and incorporate my acting into it. And hopefully, I get the support that would be needed for someone to be like, wow, she needs to be Tyler Perry. This girl right here... 
this crazy Puerto Rican girl that's had all these different like lives right here she need to be in your next movie oh you ain't seen her video Mr. Tyler Perry <laughs> and I've always said this like I don't know what it is call me crazy but I'm like I'm gonna work for that man I'm gonna be in those studios and I'm gonna be one of his best actresses because he got some good actresses bitch I'm like ooh, girl but I want to be one of his best and I know those are big shoes to fill but I know I could do it like yo Ooh, I, you don't understand the passion I got for acting. It's like, and my whole thing is, look, I don't know how I'm going to get there. I don't know how I'm going to get there. I just know that I'm putting that shit out in the universe. I'm going to work for Mr. Tyler Perry. I'm going to be an actress. Not just an actress. I'm going to be a good actress. I'm going to change lives. I'm going to talk to millions and millions of people. I'm putting it out there into the universe. I know how it's gonna happen and that's not my business it is not my business to figure out how this planet that I'm living in and how this universe is going to pull all this energy to make it possible I don't know how it's gonna happen but it's gonna happen so meanwhile while we get ready to do that because that is a huge future plan and having travel vlogs and eating foods all over the world and making my YouTube channel just go bananas I get to show you guys my world through my perspective and I get to show it we all live so many different lives, don't we? I don't know. Let me get my mind right. Listen to some music. Listen to my motivational speech before I go into this club. Because we're about to get some money. Yes, I don't know what today's going to bring, y'all. I don't know what today's going to bring. But let's go get this money bag. We've been driving I just got to work. I'm like 10 minutes late. But they'll be all right. Singing songs way too loud because we want to... I hope the weather stays like this so we can get like a good clientele. They're cleaning up the parking lot so it's a really really loud. But I just got to work. Let's see what it brings us. Picking up a love friends, fill up the car to live best because we wanna, we wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna made it to work. There's already a house. This place is full of girls already. I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't even want to go in the other room because it's like literally just full of people. But um, I mean, you could just tell from all the bags that are here. All these bags. All right, time to get dressed. Stay up, have the time of our lives. The night is young. Don't need anybody else. We came to party all night long. And we don't need no shepherd. of the shift and it is a full house which is a really good sign most girls will probably be very intimidated by the fact that there's a, a lot of girls here I love the fact that there's a lot of girls that's more potential for better clientele and for the place to be busy so if there's a lot of girls obviously the place gets busy which is a really good sign um that's not always the case but nine out of ten times it usually is so I'm so excited I'm like damn how many girls are here we almost got 20 girls like you know so it's, it's a pretty good thing this is a really small club, but it's very high class, like the way it looks. Uh, it's put together very, very well. The Forbidden Apples. Isn't that cute? I was able to read pages one through seven fully in its entirety. So right now I'm on page eight. So all my downtime until the place picks up, this is what I do. I study. Um, so I have like literally no downtime and this is the way I like it. It keeps my mind busy, keeps me focused and keeps me motivated. But I gotta get ready to go on stage.
just got off, it was super slow. But I mean, people just got here. So I'm going to get back to studying my, for my NSAM, like literally no downtime. So I'm gonna give myself like a couple hours, make sure that it picks up. But meanwhile, I'm gonna eat some food and study. Yes. <laughs> So if I were to tell you that it took an hour for me to just get a simple grilled cheese and a soup, I was like, what is going on in this place right now? Like seriously, what is going on in this place right now? I was like, how often does this happen? And then they don't have spoons, all they have is... Yeah, Daniela Chia Sage and Joe wow. Lee's and my man. Okay, Daniela either way. Chia, Joe Lee, main chase, thanks. And it's cold. Okay. I've been studying the whole day. I am not playing about getting sort of the, the certification. When I tell you that I've been going in studying, it's no joke. I've read about 19 pages of my study guide just today alone. Um, but this morning when I was getting ready for work, I was actually running the videos while I was doing my makeup. And I was running the videos from my computer. Um, I'm really, really focused on getting my licensing. I don't think I'm necessarily gonna go into a gym and work. I just wanna have it so that I can always have something in my pocket. And then I wanna do like private training sessions. I wanna train people at their home, or at their gym. I don't necessarily want to be tied down to just a house gym. I want to like travel and train and incorporate everything I'm learning into my vlog channels and just making YouTube work for me, staying healthy, staying fit. So I'm incorporating all these different things that are ultimately going to give me a better outlook in life, a better chance at just staying stable, a better chance at just becoming a better me all the way around, feeling self-accomplished, self-motivated, self-driven, all these things like matter. So now I'm super consumed, and I've been consumed for a while with studying, but now that I feel comfortable with studying, I can talk about it again. I kind of stopped talking about my certification because I was getting lost in the books. I wasn't understanding the terminology. I was getting really frustrated, but now it's like, okay, I know what that means. I know what that means. I know what that means. And excuse me, it feels really good to know that I'm multitasking. I'm at work, I'm making money, I'm vlogging, I'm studying. And it's all just a sense of, wow, you're really doing this. It's not that I want to do this. It's that I'm actually doing it and I'm pursuing it and I'm staying focused and it's, it's a blessing. Yeah, no, I just got off stage and there's a guy that was drinking. I'm not sure what he was drinking. He was drinking, my hair's a mess, but I just got off stage, I'm like sweating. And I bent over and he see the butt plug and he threw out his entire drink all over his friend. Like ruined his whole shirt and everything. And he, so he comes up to the stage and he's like, oh, he's like, man, this is crazy. And I was like, what happened? He's like, you see my shirt? And I was like, yeah, he's like, that's what happened when he saw your butt sparkle. I was like, oh, that was so funny. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. He's like, no, it's cool. He walked up, gave me some money, and he's like, yo, he's like, that's the craziest shit I've ever seen in a strip club. He's like, and I've been coming to strip clubs a long time. He's like, I've never seen that. So, um, wearing the butt plug is definitely a huge icebreaker. If you guys want to know why I wear a butt plug, go to the description box. There's a whole video on it. 
Um, if you guys like these stripper chronicles, if you could please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment below. I want to know if you've been to a strip club before. What your honest thoughts are about strip clubs? Like, what is your perception about strippers and dancers and entertainers? And what is it you really think about the industry? I'm like genuinely curious because I'm showing you guys. I'm showing you guys a completely different perspective from my point of view. But I want to know how it is that you guys view strip clubs and what it is that you actually think about them. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. All done with my shift. I am ready to get out of here. It's like it's like the shift change is going on, so it's like really hectic in here. It's like everybody's running around, but. <laughs> Is this door locked? No me abre. Oh, they locked us asses in. Night has fallen. Our night is over. I'm gonna get in my car and talk to you guys for a bit. And yeah. Hi, kisses. So our night is a wrap. Um, it was really productive. And let's just say that I met a lot of interesting people. Some of the conversations you have in there, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, they're just. They're really interesting to say the least. Uh, I guess people become, they're really open when they're in clubs up there, especially after a few drinks, so on and so forth. Um, <laughs> people kept offering me shots. I was not in the mood for it. Uh, one time I was like, can you just give me water? I'm just, I don't want to drink, you know? I just wanted to go there and really just focus on doing my job. And to be honest, I was doing so much studying that I kind of got sidetracked a little bit and they had called me onto the stage and I'm, I damn near missed the stage set, but I didn't miss it. I, I went up there and I did my stage set, but I was so like, so focused on studying. The house mom was like, what are you studying for? So I told her and she's like, oh, that's really cool. She's like, you, you put in a lot of time. You, you do a lot of reading. And I'm like, I'm trying to break myself into reading. Um, for those entertainers out there that find difficult difficulty in their job as far as like performing or how they feel when they go home or their self-esteem or their motivation spiritually mentally physically they just they're not there the one advice i can tell you if you are a dancer is please just remember one thing when you go when you're going into a strip club you're not the job you're not you have to become a different persona you have to become a different entity you have to become a different person you can't take your being in there because it could very much so get lost in that type of atmosphere especially when the alcohol and drugs are involved and influences with money and you know things like that happen so what i would say is when you go in there try to get your mind right because your mind is the strongest muscle in your entire body a lot of the times we waste time um like focusing on different things the one thing you that you should focus on is keeping a clear head when you go into work and understand that you're just there to do a job. You're there to be an entertainer and be fun and outgoing and basically just kind of listen to them and deal with their problems and have them speak more about themselves than you do about you. The reason why I tell you dancers that that are out there is because please protect your spirit, protect your being, um, protect your energy, protect your energy. It's very, very important to protect your energy and especially in those type of places. Life has, has ups and downs Life, life is going to go forward and it's going to go backwards. Life, sometimes it's, it's just going to stay stagnant. There's a lot of different levels of life itself. And at my age, I've learned that you have to wake up every... Okay, this is going to sound a little like crazy. You have to wake up every day like you just hit a reset button. 
I just woke up. This is another opportunity that the universe is giving me to do things better. Um, stop holding yourself. Stop holding yourself hostage of your past. Just let go of it. Let go of your stress, the animosity, the resentment. Just let all that shit fucking go. It will destroy you. It will eat you up alive. It is toxic. Um, when I go into work, I understand that I'm not my job. I understand that I'm just there to perform and entertain. And um, I go there, create my content. I try to have as many positive conversations as I can with as many different people uh, to give them peace of mind, to give myself peace of mind. It keeps me performing well. It keeps me level-headed. And it allows me to understand that I'm there to do a job and that's all I'm there to do. Um, and it took some time for me to understand that kind of mindset and that kind of mentality so that the job wouldn't affect me on the way home. Stay positive. Stay strong. If you are not hurting anybody, honestly, just go after your dreams. Don't let anybody stop you. As a matter of fact, get out of your own fucking way. Get out of your own way and pursue the things that you want to do in life. Right now, I'm like, like I said, I'm single. I don't have any family. I don't even have my son in my life. It's literally just me. I am my own entity. I am my own power source. I am my own. I'm in my own space. I have my own energy. So in this big world that I live in, I have no one. It's just me. And I have a best friend, obviously, like I said before. But it's just me. And I have to deal with life as it comes. And living life alone and understanding that this world is big. All I see is opportunities where I can meet good people and have a change of life just like that. It can happen overnight. My life can change tomorrow. You never know. And so every day when I wake up, I hit that reset button and I remind myself that I am being blessed with another day to do another great thing, to do another great deed. I feel like if I'm not helping other people, um, I, I don't feel accomplished. I try to help strangers as much as I can. Whether it's just holding the doors open or paying them a compliment or smiling at them and uh, you know, making them feel good for the moment. I feel like I feel like that's my purpose. I almost feel like I'm some type of this is gonna sound really weird, but a type of healer where that sounded really weird as I said it out loud, but I feel like I can put people at ease with whatever it is that they're going through because I've been through so much in life that I can kind of pull from a lot of different places to help a lot of different people and that to me is a gift it is a true gift to have the opportunity to have had experience so many different lifestyles and now I can give advice from so many different places and I want to learn from other people and I want to grow from other people and now that I'm just back at the club and I get to talk to people I get to kind of build build a sense of in a weird way normality where I'm talking to people on an everyday basis and it's under a really different type of ambiance but it's a very op open ambiance for them and it helps them kind of speak about their feelings so there's so many different things in life that I feel I have purpose for and one of the things that I want to accomplish in life above all is you know, reunited with my son, becoming an amazing actress and being able to speak to millions and millions of people and keep them motivated and let them know that we all have our own journey to live. We all have our, our own lives to live. But at the end of it all, it's how you make yourself feel. It's the way you make other people feel. It's that connection of love and positive energy and power that keeps us going. I can't wait to fall in love with someone and have them love me back the way I feel like I deserve to be loved. I I haven't given up on love. I'm just currently not looking for it. I have no interest in it right now. I just want to focus on my career and you know working on getting uh, closer to my son, and that's my main focus. Um, so I truly appreciate you guys. If you stay to the end of this video, I want to say thank you so much. Um, it means a lot to me that you're here watching my videos. I don't. I, there's no other way to put it because you really don't have to. There's a thousand other YouTubers and you guys are making a conscious choice to be supportive of me and, and my life choices and my career and I just want to say thank you for that. Never take what people do for you for granted. Always feel blessed and stay blessed. Um, and honestly, remove yourself from negativity. That may be family members, that may be boyfriends, that may be work, that may be friends. You pick and choose the people you want in your life every day. So you pick and choose the energy that you're allowing in your space. Keep that in mind. Um, protect yourself. Love yourself. 
honor yourself and be proud of yourself and most of all if i can tell you what's the best gift you can ever give yourself is forgive yourself it's okay all of it it's okay and it will be okay and you're stronger than you could ever imagine you don't know how strong you are until you're put through something and life sometimes just has to test you just to see how tough you really are and that's okay too so until next time thank you guys so much for joining me and i'll see you guys in my next vlog bye guys